neighborhood here. I had a few rag tops myself. I bought a two door Seville Milano convertible. All I needed was a fuel pump. Picked it up for 700 bucks. That's what I do, buy and sell cars. There's a guy I met through the recycler, he's an actor. He's telling me uh, whenever I get a convertible, to give him a call. So I'll pick it up for, let's say, like 700 bucks. Flipped it for 2700. I could have sold it for more, but it's like, hey, I'll flip them quick. My pool room in the back where I used to live in Gardena Boulevard, put the money on the pool table and uh, drive it home. No questions asked, you know. Local PD. Probably wondering what the hell's going on. What's he doing? <laughs> Probably get pulled over. Good thing he didn't look at me. He sees he's looking at you. What the hell are you doing? Oh, he's coming. Is he? Western, pulling you over. Oh, the guy behind me. Oh, luckily. Woo! I thought that was me. Oh. <laughs> That's what I thought, because I seen him look at you. <laughs> I thought he did it because I had the camera on my lap, because mm -hmm. I like, you know, right. paying like, he, to the wheel. He didn't know what it was, you know? Right. Shit, I remember years ago, man, when I was singing dope, the bar had closed and I was working swing shift. And uh, I'm knocking on the window, the front door, and I see dope on me. And cop. I went around the back. I never ran so fast in my life. From the back to, to that driveway and hit back there for an hour or so. I walked out this way. There were like cop cars just waiting there for me. Then they just threw me on the hood and I'm like, what's going on? They just held me overnight and I thought I got away. I, I got away for a minute, but they waited for me. They knew I was there somewhere. They just waited for me to come out. Yeah, here we are, Max, at... Uh on the corner of 166 in, in Western, uh, it's uh, it's now a Japanese, uh, some type of uh, gardeners association uh, hangout here. It used to be called the Bank Club. Originally, in its day, it was uh, it was a bank, and the vault was still there, so they used that vault as a refrigerator. So, a couple of the fellas there. That was a nice ride right there. Old bomb right there. You missed it. it. Oh man, beautiful. Probably going to the VFW down the street, maybe a wedding or something. And uh, across the street, uh, we have uh, what used to be a, a courthouse back in this day. It's now a bar. What's going on? And uh, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I don't know. Doing some filming here. Yeah? Just a little interview, yeah. All right. Just a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. That's right. Take it easy. <laughs> Once upon a time, it used to be called the Alley Cat. It was a little too young to go in bars at the time. Bob Martin, a good friend of mine, bought it. He named it Marty's Bar. This is one of the places I shot a lot of pool. When I, uh, I worked for Rockwell at the time, after hours, uh, I'd come here and, and shoot. I'm gonna take you around the corner to our old team post, which is now Time Warner, where we used to have our record hops, have dances and so forth, car washes, just a place to hang out. And it used to be called the, the Mac Center, the, the Municipal Activity Center, just somewhere to, for the local kids to uh, come and kick it and try to stay out of trouble, something to do. We're coming up here now, to the place where I grew up at. Me and a lot of my buddies, it's now Time Warner, as you can see right there, all the antennas up there for the, the satellites. It's, it used to be uh, the driveway where we used to kick it, go around the back and just park back there. Smoke a, smoke a little joint, a few joints here and there. Go inside, shoot a little pool, a little pinball. There's the front of it. This is the main entrance here. I miss this place. This was the place to come to. This is one of our, probably our second best team post that we had. It was more modern, but uh, the one I like the best is on 167th Street in uh, between Ainsworth and, Bud and Menlo. That was a very nice team post. A lot of memories back there. A lot of memories here. Lots, a lot of memories. As they say, uh, if I could turn back the hands of time. When was the last time 
You were here when it was a team post. How old were you? Mm. I must have been about probably 19. 19, 19, 20, around there. Yeah. Sometimes we'd park our cars in the back and go down to, uh, on a Wednesday, and uh, go down to Van Nuys and cruise their boulevard out in the valley. So, yeah, I miss this place. How you guys doing? Nothing. Nothing? You're on TV now. What's the channel? I'll let you know. I'll come back and let you know. Okay. Hi, can I talk to Hollywood? What's up, Hollywood? With Jesse. Jesse Rao. You got you, you got my number, right? Yeah, 310? Alright, talk to you later, brother. Okay, Lee. Alright, that's taken care of. Let's take a walk down the street over here. My friend. All right, I'll talk to you in a minute, huh? Okay, late. Yeah, there's no stomping grounds, Max. Yeah, the Marty's Bar is, uh, it's like a, kind of a local hangout for the homies, you know, to kick it out. It's, actually, it's probably the main, the main hangout, other than, you know, somebody's house, or so. But to drink and shoot pools, Marty's is the place. Did you ever go to the Nordondo Club? Nordondo, no yeah. I've probably been to every bar just about in Gardena. Nordondo, yeah, I remember it back in the day. It used to be a Western bar, but I still went in to shoot pool just because uh, I, I loved the game so much that it didn't matter if it was Western bar or whatever. I'd, I'd go in there and just try to shoot and make a little money. Another bar on Vermont. Called the Bullshit Club, the BS Club. It's, now it's called the Aloha Club. Where uh, customers are mainly uh, uh, Latinos from the other side of the border, you say. But they know me, so I kick it in there once in a while just to, again, shoot that game of pool. I ain't going to place without shooting pool. Do you always play for money still? Uh, it, it depends on how I feel, yeah. I kind of, I don't play as much, so. I still got it, but uh, there are days I don't, but uh, it depends on the, 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 the person who I'm playing, you know. Then I, if I feel like I can beat them, then of course I'll, I'll play them. And if I can't beat them, I'll just shoot for the hell of it. Just for the fun of it. One thing, you know. If there's a if there's a pool table, then my wife may go out to a club or something. Everybody's having a good time dancing. We can find Jess on the pool table. It's a bad habit I got shooting pool. Instead of, you know, kicking back. Yeah, nowadays uh, the way it is, you gotta watch your back all the time. You never know who's gonna be cruising around. I want to take a pop shot at you. Uh, forever watching my back, you know, wherever, if I'm walking, especially, for sure, if I'm walking. You just never know who's going to be, who's going to creep up on you.